Hello everybody, Chris Profi, Musically Obsessed. Okay, um, I'm titling this video New Records and Beer because I have some brand new records that I'm going to show you. And I have a beer that I'm going to be drinking. Yes. Um, now, here's the thing. I don't really drink that often. And people I know tell me that I really should drink more, but I don't, you know. And... Um, you know, I'm definitely a big coffee person, but yesterday was my birthday and I bought a six pack and I'm like in the store wondering what beer to get. Cause I, like I said, I really don't buy beer. I don't really like IPAs. I know a lot of people are in, into IPAs. I'm not really into IPAs. Um, this time of year when it gets colder, I like a darker beer. So I went with uh, Modelo, Modelo Negra. I had one of these yesterday. It was really good, so I figured I'd continue the celebration today and uh, have a beer and open some new records. Mm. Take that, Aaron Mutha Alamer. Mm. Yeah, like I said, I'm not really a drinker, but every once in a while... A cold beer is A-OK -okay with me. So, um, I went to the record store today because um, the program they have is when it's your birthday, you have 25% uh, off a purchase. So, I got a couple records and I got one in the mail today as well. So, I figured I'd open some of these for you, show you what I got, and, uh, you know, just share them. So, um I went into the record store and they have like the new release rack right there. And I see this. I had no idea that this even came out. This is Joni Mitchell. It's early Joni from 1963. This is on 180 gram. This is the first known recording of Joni Mitchell. Previously unreleased. She was 19 years old when she recorded this in 1963. These are her first recordings okay now what's on here house of the rising sun john hardy dark as a dungeon I, I like johnny cash's version of that tell old bill nancy whiskey anathea copper kettle fare thee well and molly malone now this was recorded at a radio station cfqc in saskatoon saskatchewan canada Hopefully I pronounced that right. In 1963. Um, I pre-cut this because I wanted to keep the hype on there. But I'll show you guys what the vinyl looks like. This is part of the Joni Mitchell archives. Again, I didn't even realize that this was out. All right. This has a nice polyline sleeve and uh, traditional black vinyl. That's uh, one side. And that's the other. Wow, Joni looking beautiful there. So really excited about this. I love Joni Mitchell. Um, I didn't even realize that this was out. Um, I don't know, even know what it sounds like. Um, I'm hoping the sound quality is pretty good because, I, like I said, it's the, her first recordings um, at a radio station in uh, 1963. So uh, very, very interested to hear this. If anybody has this album or if anybody knows any of these recordings, let me know what you think. But I will definitely be popping this on the turntable today. So that was one of my purchases at the record store. Cheers. And the other purchase, I'm excited about this because I see this band talked about a lot and I don't have anything by them. I don't have anything on CD, vinyl, but now I do. I bought my first Kraftwerk album, uh, The Man Machine. Okay, and I believe that this came out in 1978. This has the robots, Space Lab, Metropolis, the model, neon lights, and the man machine. Okay, I don't know a lot about this band. I know that they're talked about a lot. I know that they, of course, did a lot of electronic music. I know that they were very influential in what they did, but I'm not going to pretend to know too much about them. Um, they had... Um, quite a few craft work albums there. I got this one because I recognized the cover. So um, if I like this, 
Uh, please tell me which one I should get next. Okay, I saw an album called Autobahn there. And, uh, you know, the guy at the record store suggested that one as well. Um, and I have a feeling they're probably all good, but I went with this one. So let me show you what this looks like. Um, I pre-cut it because I wanted to keep that hype sticker on there. And again, I don't really know too much about this album. You know, I've read about Kraftwerk. I hear them uh, I sh uh, on, uh, you know, other people's channels. So this comes with a booklet. And let's see what's inside. Ah, we've got some cool pictures. I almost want to say, I mean, are these guys like, I would assume maybe like Devo a little bit? You guys can let me know. And again, I don't know if I should even be part of the vinyl community if I don't know really too much about craft work. But I promise you guys, you know, I'm going to listen to this album. I'm going to get really into it, see what I think. And then knowing me, if I like it, I'm probably going to end up uh, getting a lot more craft work. But this is a nice booklet that comes with it. I don't know if the original issue of this came with a booklet. I'm not sure. Um, printed inner sleeve. And then, oh, nice. This is on red vinyl. So my Kraftwerk fans out there, let me know, was this a good album to start with? And what is the next Kraftwerk album that I should get? Just let me know. So those are my two uh, purchases that I got today from the record store. Now, I got an album sent to me today in the mail. Um... Maybe about a week ago, Isaac from Blind Island was doing a video and he talked about a band called Bang. And I've seen Bang talked about in the VC before. And he was saying that, you know, they sounded a lot like early Black Sabbath. So I listened to some samples and yes, they do sound a lot like early Black Sabbath. Um, I also hear a lot of budgie in them as well. So um, their first album is very expensive. Um, so I ended up getting that on CD. It was a twofer. There was that album and their third album on a CD. But then I picked this up on vinyl. This is uh, their second album, I believe, uh, called Mother Bow to the King. Interesting cover. And again, these guys are like a Black Sabbath budgie sounding band. Really, really good stuff. So thank you to Isaac for introducing these guys to me. I haven't even opened this up, so I figured I'd open it up with you guys here. Uh, I did not pre-cut this one. And there's no hype sticker on here, so I'm not going to worry about keeping that. I mean, sometimes I keep the hype stickers. Sometimes I don't. I don't know. I know some people are kind of crazy and anal about that, but I'm really not too about that anyways. Other things, yes. So this looks like it's a gatefold. Um, here's what the gatefold looks like. And uh, this came out in 1972. Let's see what the vinyl looks like on this. Okay. Oh, nice. It's a polyline sleeve. And... Uh, we got that on one side, and we got this on the other. Beautiful black vinyl. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I've been listening to a lot of bang. I'm getting a lot of bang for my buck. No. Um, their first album, very, very good. This album, I dug it when I listened to it on Spotify. Their third album... I forget what that one's called, but that one has some varied musical uh, influences on it. I hear some like folk type stuff on there, some more like just like straight ahead hard rock. Um, but great band. I mean, like I said, if you're into early Sabbath, if you're into Budgie, you would probably dig these guys. And uh, so excited to have that. So 
that's what I got today. We got Bang's second album. I got my first Kraftwerk album. And I got Joni Mitchell, her early, early recordings when she was 19 years old from 1963. So let me know what you guys think. I'm going to be having some more beer, listening to music, and uh, enjoying the rest of my Halloween. All right, guys. Adios.